Well, as we head into the hottest months of the year, the clothing comes off and the sunscreen goes on. But are we doing enough to avoid skin cancer? New Zealand has one of the highest rates and joining us to explain why is Jonathan Eel from Melanoma New Zealand. Good morning to you. Good morning. Really nice to have you in the studio. Tell, us, tell me first, though, why are this, what are the stats around melanoma in New Zealand? It's really shocking. Um, 4,000 people a year get a diagnosis of melanoma. That's 13 a day. Um, sadly, up to 350 of those people, unfortunately, succumb to the disease. Yeah, and that's awful. And I can vouch for that because I am one of those people who had a diagnosis. My mum yep. has, and my uncle actually did die from melanoma. So very aware of it in our family. Why do you think there are so many cases? The scientists debate this a lot, but in simple terms, it's a combination of our lifestyle and the climate that we have here in New Zealand with the sun. Um, and then there's a component around behaviour and our respect for the sun. Yeah, which I think is getting better, but then yep. there's still those idiots out there who don't put anything on. What, what does a suspicious mole or a freckle look like? What do we need to be aware of? So we talk about the ugly duckling um, and, and when you see one you, you kind of get it. Um, there's actually an acronym as well, A, B, C, D, E. It's on our website. It's looking for things like the border being a bit fuzzy, um, whether it's asymmetrical, colour and then the big thing is change. So that's the E for evolution. Um, if you see changes, if you see it bleeding, um, that's time to really be, uh, really be going to see someone. Yeah, if you notice it itching or something? Yep, that can often be the case too. Mm. Yeah. It's a number of things. So when should we look at actually getting that professional help? So I think your, your own gut is a good sense of these things. I think when you're worried about something, don't delay. The great thing about melanoma, if there is one great thing, if you catch it really early, um, you're in great shape. We can sort you out and you'll be fine. Yeah, that's a good thing because my mum had one. She's in her 20s. I got a big gouge out of it. We tell people it's a shark attack. There, yep. big thing out there. But she's still fine. I had one maybe 20 years ago now. Uh, but because my mother had always made me be very vigilant about it, I got it taken out early and that was the lifesaver. Otherwise I wouldn't be here today talking about it, which is quite terrifying. Um, so what do you think people can do on a daily basis to make sure that they do avoid getting melanoma? So I mean the key thing is absolutely sunscreen, um, not using those terrible sunbeds, um, and, and actually taking care of each other. So, you know, nothing more fun than hanging out with your partner and checking their skin perhaps, making sure you get into all those places that the sun doesn't get because mm. you can get melanoma anywhere. Well that's the thing when you do go for a skin check is that they are checking the, the soles of your feet and everything. You're thinking, right. well how did it get there? Absolutely, and you were talking about Bob Marley earlier on, and he actually died from melanoma, believe it or not, he had it in his toe. He did, because some people also think if you've got a darker skin that you're not necessarily going to get it, but that's not the case, is it? It's not. There's definitely a correlation that if you've got fair skin, ginger hair, you're gonna, and family history, you're far more susceptible, but no one's immune, unfortunately. Mm. So what's, what, what's the difference in between a, like melanoma and a skin cancer? Um, there, there are varieties and fundamentally they all come from the same thing in terms of that environmental exposure but it's melanoma that's the deadly one. Um, others are not to be taken lightly mm -hmm. um, so really the key is go and see your GP about this stuff. Um, that really is your first line of defence and be thinking about it. Yeah exactly and you can whip them out and there's tiny little scars, I've got little scars all over me actually and a very big one on my back but very thankful that I got it. Hey well that's been great, thank you for that and very timely coming into summer as well. Absolutely. A pleasure to chat and a pleasure to raise awareness too about it. You can visit Melanoma New Zealand's website for more information about skin cancer or to make a donation as well.